the river is the drain. It's still going to come back to the to the river no matter what you do to it. And it's going to end up in, in St. Helena Sound. It's going to come right down the Edisto River and into St. Helena Sound. What forms Edisto Island is the Edisto River. When it, when it flows down from the middle part of the state, it flows through the Ace Basin. The Ace Basin is a, is a tidal basin where three rivers feed. The Ashapoo, the Cumbee, and the Edisto River, thus A-C-E. Uh, those three river systems go into St. Helena Sound, which is one of the cleanest estuaries in the country today. And matter of fact, the St. Helena Sound qualifies to be part of the National Ester and Reserve System. We make crabs out there, we make shrimp out there, we make fish out there. We make air all around here. If this water becomes fouled, we lose all this bird habitat, we lose the fish, we lose the crabs, we lose the oysters. Without the water from our rivers, without enough of the fresh water from our rivers, this dries up. This is sort of a flooded cypress and tupelo gum swamp. And these uh, watershed areas that are flooded off the river is, are what clean the water today. If there's not control over how much water is pulled out, then definitely the quantity that flows to the coast is going to be negatively impacted. We have a law in which one class of user has a complete exemption and can use as much water as they choose without the requirement of receiving a permit. Now that was, that was a part of the surface water law that we passed in 2010. South Carolina took a, a big important step a few years ago in um, passing a law that would permit surface water withdrawals. Um, unfortunately, when that law was passed, there was an exemption given um, to agricultural users that now puts every South Carolina river at risk uh, of being run dry um, because the water is being over allocated. So you take a, a great natural resource like that, and you can use it, you ought to be able to use it, but there, there needs to be, it needs to be better thought out. The surface water in South Carolina, according to state law, the public trust doctrine belongs to the people of South Carolina. We own that. And the idea that, well, we can just give it away to a private entity to do anything they want to with it, pump as much of it as they want to with no, no check, no regulation, nothing. That's, it's insane. It's crazy. The General Assembly is charged with stewardship responsibility over that public resource. And really all we're proposing is that, that all classes of users, at least at some point or some level of use, would have to get a permit to use that public resource. To me, it's a, the difference between short-term thinking and long-term thinking. Short-term thinking means anything for a dollar, anything for a job, n no matter what you do to the environment and natural resources. Long-term thinking is we have a very unique ecosystem in South Carolina that's attracting millions of dollars of ecotourism. It's just starting. That provides jobs, and that provides a tremendous amount of income for the state of South Carolina. And ecotourism brings clean dollars, uh, not smokestacks, not withdrawing money, not phosphate from fertilizer running into our streams, clean dollars, kayaking, canoeing, guides, restaurants, hotels. That's long-term thinking. Our rivers are an important part of our state. Um, they're part of our state's identity, its history, and, and will play an amazing role in its future. But we have to make sure that's done right and that they're protected so they can do that. Um, I don't know if you knew this, but outdoor recreation is a multi-billion dollar industry in South Carolina, and our rivers play a huge part of that economy. Why would we threaten our tourism industry, particularly on the coast, why would we threaten that by letting a few large companies make a profit by withdrawing the fresh water that has a direct impact on the health of our coastal tidal system and our coastal salt marsh ecosystem. It's important to have this. This is what we come from. This is where the state comes from. This is it. And what you have is you have a industry that has a free ride to get as much of the public's water as they want, and they want to keep it that way. And they'll, I'm one of the most conservative Republicans you'll find in this legislature. 
but yet I'm being called a radical environmentalist because I want a permitting regime implemented at least at some point, at some level of use. You don't wait for it to be a problem if you can do something about it. What we need to see is people standing up and saying, hey, we need you to stand up and protect our rivers. We need you to, to do what you're supposed to do and represent us. I know South Carolinians love their rivers uh, and they want their, their representatives at the State House to feel the same way about it.